High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Now, looking at the uh, time and looking at the traffic outside, it's time for school. And I'm talking about High Plains Technology. This morning, I've got Shirley. She's been coming back every week. And Dana now with us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, So, Katie Shirley with High Plains, and my guest today is our TAP director, Dana Goss, and TAP stands for Technical Application Program. So, Dana, can you give us a brief um, update of kind of how did you get to High Plains? Okay, so this is my 27th year. I'm teaching in education, and um, I've been around not a lot of places, but a few. I started in public school. Um, I taught science and and English and math and all the things that people do in public school for 16 years. And I taught biomed at a tech center down south. And then I've been at High Plains Technology Center for the past five years. Um, when we started the TAP program, I came to Woodward um, to go to work for the technology center here. It's okay. awesome. Yeah, we've loved having you. You are definitely a hard worker, go-getter everywhere, doing all sorts of awesome things. So tell us kind of the concept and the idea um, that originated with um, our superintendent now, Barkley Holt, back, I'm sure it was probably six years ago or so, or even longer than that, that this had been kind of in his um, mind stirring around. So can you kind of tell us the those steps? Right. Yes, that'd be great. So, um, you know, Mr. Holt... Um, His vision, and I think probably stemmed from his roots of being an ag teacher and and knew that there was such a gap in terms of skill set with what kids really needed to know to be successful in industry. And, you know, I think it just kept stirring around in his head and his mind. And and, um, Mr. Holt, along with Mr. Hughes, you know, um, just decided that they would put it forth into action. Um, And so Mr. Holt really took the reins and just led the way. And paved the way, and and I don't know if really people here in our area know um, that the technical application program here is really one of its own. It's one of the only ones like it um, in the whole state of Oklahoma, and and maybe spread farther than that. I don't want to get caught up in maybe what that is. But in Oklahoma, I know that it's the only one that is designed specifically to get kids ready to go to work for what we have here in our area. And so we focus on our industries, our business partnerships in the community. We work together with the instructors out at the Technology Center, and we teach all of those programs at 6th, 8th, and ninth grade level at the middle school. Right. That's awesome. And so you have a really nice setup there at the middle school, and so that's neat um, to be able to be housed there. And then you also have um, some of our sending schools have the opportunities to come over um, so what schools are coming right now? Right. So um, the, Ms. Stedman, um, she works for Woodward and High Plains. And so she teaches all of Woodward sixth graders. Um, and then on the eighth grade side of it, this year I have um, students from Moreland Public School and Visai Public School. In the past, we've had students from Sharon Mutual, um, Fargo, Fort Supply. And so, you know, it just depends on what works in the kids' schedule and, and how all of that works. Um, I can't say enough about the partnership that we have with our sending school, um, with Woodward Public Schools letting us be housed there. Um, you know, it is a facility for 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, you know, and, and Mr. Reynolds and the principals um, welcome the ninth graders to come down and to have class there. So, so appreciative um, that we can work so cohesively and collaborate and really make um, an awesome education experience for students. Yeah, the partnerships are definitely key. And I, um, I enjoy getting to see um, and visit with those students from our um, sending schools and then see them years down the road out at High Plains. And so throughout the school year with TAP, do the students um, now they spend about a certain amount of period of time through all 12 or programs that we have out at High Plains that are our daytime career programs. Is that correct? Right. So we, we focus on the, the career daytime programs. And then from the biz side, we, turn, we focus on wind and safety because safety is in every program that right. we teach. And so um, we just, the biz guys come down and, and teach safety that, fire extinguisher safety, confined space, um, repelling. And then Mr. Day helps us out with the wind side. Um, our instructors at the Technology Center really um, 
lay the pavement for us to be successful. They keep us up to to date on trends in the industry and and what we need to do to continue to progress and help the program and have kids ready to go. You know, when we started, we really, I mean, it was like, you know, it was just wide open. And so Ms. Stedman and I, um, we worked really hard and now we have a progression. And so, you know, the younger students do this and then we take a step up and, and, The goal being that when the freshmen leave from my classroom, you know, they're going to be back at the high school for a year taking those core classes. And then when they enter as juniors and seniors at the technology center, they're really ready to, you know, hit the ground running, know what to do with the tape measure, what wrenches are what, what tools are what, how to really um, take vitals and, you know, on and on, depending on what program we're talking about. And our instructors in the technology center then can move those students forward to get them ready to go to work. So to kind of back up for parents or grandparents or parents, people that uh, don't exactly know what TAP is, is it a voluntary program or just something part of their curriculum? You said sixth, eighth, and ninth? Correct. Grade? Okay. So it is an elective. Okay. At school, and it's counted as an elective. Um, We have a state code. Um, The State Department of Career Tech and Education have a state code. Um, So we have Technical Application Program 1, Technical Application Program 2. So when we're talking about their transcript, they actually get credit with the name of the class so that they kids know what they are. Um, And in terms of people, kids apply for the ninth grade program to come. And they go through an interview process to be in that particular class as long as the eighth graders, all sixth graders that Ms. Stebbin have, depending on what team they're on at the Woodward site, they all are in TAP. But um, eighth and ninth graders apply and get in through an interview process. Okay. So, and and you said that you've got 12 programs and they get introduced to all of it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So that way it kind of helps them guide them a little bit, expose them to something that they wouldn't have known about. Yeah. You know, and, and part of that came from my job at Western, I was the biomed, you know, and I taught biomed and students would, oh, I want to be this and I want to be that. And they really didn't know what it was, you know. And so when I took this job, I was like, okay, we got to expose them to everything. Let's talk about, about, about careers, exploration, all of those things are available. So when they get to be juniors and seniors, at least they've got it narrowed down to three or four instead of, I have no idea. You know, and and so we put them out, um, freshman job shadow, they mentor, they do all those things so that they kind of go, okay, I do think I want to do auto. Mm, I I don't really know. Maybe I want to be a vet, you know, vet tech, or or maybe I want to be a mechanic or whatever it might be. Then they've kind of had their feet wet, if you will, and and they're ready to roll. Well, you explained that very well. Now, what's wrong with seventh graders? (laughs) Well, it's just nothing's wrong with seventh graders. It's just that the way well, the schedule I've heard you works. Sixth, funny. eighth, and ninth. And, right, and, right. So Mr. Holt's whole vision when we started the when we started the whole tap concept was focus on eighth graders, and then that's where you know um, they're, they're kind of making some plans. And and I think and Miss Stedman and I go on and on about this with in our group there at the tap our staff mr rogers mr dale mr jones helps us out so a lot of us if we put all our education years of experience together it gets to be quite a large number (laughs) and so but we talk about you know we're not hitting we're not getting to them early enough and so you know by the time you don't get to them till sophomore or juniors they either not done well in algebra so now we're chasing credits so we can make sure we graduate or they they if they, we found him as an eighth grader and that was mr holt's vision is okay let's find a reason why we need to pass algebra why we need to do well in english and you know the seventh graders it just doesn't work with the schedule we did have seventh graders this year we don't it kind of floats back and forth whether we have seventh or not depending on scheduling you know at the middle school but sending schools send eighth graders and sending schools send ninth graders and so parents and um, can look whenever they're enrolling their students, they can help look at the meet with the counselor to get enrolled and tap, like just choose it as an elective. Right. Okay. Right. And, and you know, we like right now um, we're building hydraulic arms in the freshman program. And so we are using that fluid concept and they are it's some engineer, some design. Um, we, we, we've got a lot of things going on. Yeah, um, if you guys are not following us on social media yet, I highly recommend finding us on um, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, High Plains Tech Center. Um, We share a lot of pictures of TAP because there is just a lot always going on. So 
And one more thing, maybe, because I know I see our time is going to run short here, but um, we have TAP Club once a month. Um, it's a great um, opportunity for our students to be exposed to business owners in town. They come in, teach the skills they need to do, um, they need to obtain to get that. So if any business in town would like to be members or come help us with TAP Club, you can get my number from Katie, and we would love that. Yes. So you can just reach out, and you can find both our contact at hptc.edu. So we hope everyone has a good day, and thank you, Dana. Thank you so much for having me.